Adios, Chuck Norris. This is Spooky's boyfriend behind me. Yes, Spooky has a boyfriend. She's not even six months old and she has a boyfriend. That's what's up. Anyway, the big news around here today is that Chepe is back and he's going to be painting. And the gardeners are here and they're overhauling the garden again. Anyway, here we go. Strap in. So here is the paint. We're going to be repainting this with new colors. And Chepe is already out here. Hola, Chepe. And he's going to paint this ugly ass wall. Doesn't look like much now, but. We're going to turn it into a brand new mural. Let's see. Uh, Frida Blue. Yeah. It's going to be really nice. Let me see the. Here's the sketch. See how sexy that is? Yeah, I love the little yellow bits. And then that's, that's what's going to be right here. Today we're taping. And by we, I mean Chepe. Yeah. <laughs> and then here, Nuevo Jardín. Idea is, this part of the garden, look how good this is doing. Nice and full, looking good. So now we're just going to fill that up. Because that's not looking good. It's looking like a dirt patch. We're just going to fill it up. I'm doing the work today. Spooky, you little slut. You slut, Spooky. Yep. Chuck Norris and Spooky Dookie. True love. They do it. Okay, now an important part of the garden putting together day is that we go and get the plants from the plant guru. This is an amazing guy. We went to go see him once before us. This took me with Luna. He's got all the plants. He's like ancient, like Yoda, like a plant Yoda. Super cool. Hola, buenas tardes. That's how we do it. This is going to be so hot. Van felices aquí. Now that we're home, plants are all here. They're all going in here. It's going to be really nice. And Spooky's doctor is here. Spooky's doctor. Say hola. <laughs> Ella tiene un novio. Adiós, Buki. Plant looks great there. How much better is that? God, it's driving me nuts. It's all growing, it's all happening. Oh, it's so good. Chepe is mid repaint here. Yeah, if you've watched this channel for a while, then you may, or on my Instagram, you may have heard me bitch about the colors in the painting. I chose them, it's my fault. Chepe had some other things in mind that included this nice brown and I was like, no, I really like these. And on the computer they looked one way, but then because I have no spatial vision, when they got on the wall, it became like very Golden Girls, very Boca Raton, very Retiree Florida, and you know with the couch and everything, it's very easy and the climate, very easy to sort of slip into this old lady vibe. I never want to see the color peach again. 
But anyway, these are the original colors that Chepe does. This is like a signature color palette. Now we're redoing them. Yeah. Repainting a mural. Am I the first person to ask for a repainted mural? Yeah. Oh. Some other people uh, ask me for erasing a mural or doing another different thing, but you are the first person to ask me to change colors. <laughs> I'm the only one neurotic enough. So you can see here that this is like the new color palette and there's still a little bit of the old in here. So it looks a little dysfunctional right now because yeah. of what's going on there, but it's going to come together real sexy. I have yeah. faith. There's also this, this is happening outside. Sorry, bud. This is happening outside. As you can see, it's not finished. We're waiting for a ladder, which um, I don't even know how to describe the the ladder thing's like a saga. Like we've, I've literally called everyone I know, and everyone has a ladder, but everybody's using their ladder or has lent it to someone to use it. This is Wake's uh, ladder. This is Ladder Appreciation Week here. <laughs> it's like there's six ladders in Puerto, and they're all being used right now. This is also the final on the garden. You know, the camera doesn't do it justice. Coming out of the bathroom, it just looks so much more epic. It looks so much more put together. Just having this many plants, I don't know if you saw before, but this was like pure white and it was like a total oven. But as you can see, these plants are now actually creating more shadows together and it's less hot over there. It's less hot back here, period, just with this. And it hasn't even started to grow yet. The last thing we have to do is we have to fix the grass and then the garden is finally done. This garden has been like a constant thing for me. Like it just, it just was never complete. It was just never uniform. It just something about it didn't feel put together right. And that's been going on whew, since August, so over six months. And now finally we got to the place we need to be going. And this stuff's all just gonna like grow up the walls and it's all gonna fill in here really beautifully, finally and I can move on with my life. This is like a ground cover and it's gonna fill in all here and it grows really fast. So these like dirt bits, it's gonna just fill all that in. I really like it. You can walk over it and it just bounces back, unlike grass that gets ruined when you walk over it too much. So we have some planted here as well and I've seen it as a field and it looks fantastic. And then here, We've got, this is gonna, this is a climber, so it's gonna grow up that corner. You know, there's some things just like filling in the garden here on the bottom. I hate seeing dirt. This one's also an incredible climber. It's gonna climb all the way up the wall and it's gonna go onto that fenced area along with the bougainvillea and that's gonna fill up that whole fenced area by the pool. In about two or three years, this will, you won't see the wall here anymore. I'll be totally covered. Which is great because it's time for me. See, like, see how this is all? Oh, you can really see that ground cover filling in there. Right? Gorgeous. And then here, of course, it's filled in perfectly with the ferns. And then the next thing, you know, already having this here, this has already made it less hot back here. This is an oven with the white walls. I mean, when I erected this wall, I essentially made it an oven back here. So the thing that's going to happen here is there's going to be plants just affixed to the wall here. Um, there's an issue with not being able to kind of hang out at the pool because the pool's too big for the backyard. And so I'm thinking of kind of a bigger project in the summer to put a wooden deck that's going to go from there and it's going to come out over the pool a bit. And it's going to create a hangout space there. That'll be kind of like a big project coming down the pipe. And then finally we're going to hang a hammock in the corner. And that'll be it. There's not a lot that needs to be done here, but the idea was finish this garden and that's it. It's like poco a poco y lejos. I have also some plans for the bathrooms. Mostly though I want to finish this big stuff because I want to be moving on to like, you know, framing. I have a ton of art that needs to be framed and put in the rooms and like stuff like that. The only big projects that remain are one day we'll remodel the kitchen and you know I want to build a deck back here and then change the fixtures and paint the bathrooms. That's it. That's not a lot. We've achieved an incredible amount 
for the short period of time. And, uh, you know, we're going to be pausing for a bit because it takes money for all these things. If you are interested in what the garden costs or the murals or anything, just shoot me a note, a private note, and we can discuss that anytime you want. Anyway, more to come. Stay strapped in. Week two, back going to the movies. What are you having? Did tortilla. mommy make you? What? Tortilla. You having a tortilla? Mm -hmm. And frijoles. And frijoles? Mm -hmm. And did you have some chicken and rice in there? Mm -hmm. Where's your spoon? Mm -hmm. It's there. Mm hmm. Good. And Chepe's here. Yeah. Furiously painting. And now we're going to go down here and watch a movie. Colors change, much, much brighter. Cat and child eating. Looks really nice together with the blue inside and the blue outside at the same time. And then the view from here is you'll be able to see this. You'll also see a little bit of the blue out there and the one in the far back. Very cool. Okay, that's it. Chepe's done. He's been painting right up until the last second. The sun is going down right now, but we're going to try and get out to Sativa and get a nice little dinner in us. Hopefully we still have some light, but probably not. Luna, what do you think about Chepe's new painting? That's did you like it? Sad. Did you like it? Yeah. Did you have fun with Chepe this week? Yeah. Yeah, it was great. The new, the new one looks amazing. It's so much brighter. And the blue is intense, it's amazing. Anyway, you'll see more of it in a bit. If you like this video, like it. If you want to share it, that'd be great. If you want to subscribe, that'd be even better. And click that little bell, get notified every time we upload. Can we go to the cement factory, Grandma? Yeah. I think never. Yes. What do you think, Chepe? Was it good? Yeah. Did you paint your little ass off? Yeah, last minute. <laughs> Pushing to the limit. <laughs> Here we are at Zicatella Beach. So Sativa has an amazing sunset and they also do a great cocktail two for one deal that we're gonna go get in on. Oh, look who else is here. And Edgar showed up. Anyway, this is it behind us. We finally got here for like the last little bits of sunset.